Hi everyone, I'm Newland Archinal with the April Educational Economic Update here at Integrity Wealth Consulting. And for this month, we'll talk about some of the economic events that influenced the markets last month and give you some insight into what they could mean for you as an investor. Also, please stay tuned at the end of this for a required disclosure statement. So after several very rocky months in the markets, March finally brought more optimism with several consecutive weeks of gains. That was due in part to a weaker dollar compared to other currencies. Remember, a strong dollar makes U.S.-made goods more expensive to buyers overseas, which has hurt corporate profits in the past. When the dollar weakens, it can make U.S. products more competitive in the global marketplace, which we hope will be reflected in international demand for our goods. Last month was also important for central bank policies. The the European Central Bank, Bank of Japan, and the Federal Reserve all held meetings to determine monetary policy. In recent years, there's been a bit of a divide between the Fed, which is moving away from the ultra-low interest rate environment, and European and Japanese central banks, which are fighting slow economies with negative rates and quantitative easing. However, talks at the March Fed meeting show that U.S. economists are also becoming more concerned about domestic growth. That's why the Fed voted to hold rates steady and indicated that officials are planning a slower pace of rate hikes later this year. Keep in mind, remarks after the meeting show that the Fed economists are divided. Some officials want to start raising rates soon, while others favor a wait-and-see approach. Fed Chair Janet Yellen has been very clear, though, about her intention to remain cautious in the face of global risks. We also got some good economic news last month. The final estimate of fourth quarter economic growth showed that gross domestic product grew at an annual rate of 1.4% instead of a flat 1%. Much of the improvement came from stronger than expected consumer spending, which is great news for our economy. The labor market also continued to add jobs and strengthen in March, which also supports further spending. On the other hand, the increased spending at the end of 2015 may have come at the expense of growth in the first quarter of this year. Consumer spending data from January was revised lower, causing first quarter GDP forecasts to actually plummet. Looking ahead, we'll be awaiting reports from the first quarter that ended in March to see whether the numbers support or weaken concerns about growth later this year. We're not the only ones who will be closely monitoring that data. We know that the Fed will be watching ahead of its April meeting to see whether the economy can still support additional rate hikes this year. Will they raise interest rates in April? Hard to say, but it doesn't seem very likely from where we look at it right now. Currently, most economists predict a June interest rate hike, but there's always room for a surprise if the data looks better than expected. That's it for now. I'm Newlin Archinal here at Integrity Wealth Consulting. And please remember that nothing we talk about here is a recommendation. If you have any questions or concerns about your own financial situation or what we've discussed here, please give our office a call at 724-940-9060. While we believe the information in this report is reliable, we cannot guarantee its accuracy. Opinions expressed are subject to change without notice and are not intended as investment advice or solicitation for the purchase or sale of any security. Please consult your financial professional before making any investment decision.